tragic and horrible as this is, and it, I mean, it rips me apart. I don't want him to have died in vain. She says he was like her child. She raised him for 16 years, only to see him shot down. When the tortoise Merlin got out of her yard, she never thought a neighbor would then take his life. Yeah, the question tonight, will that neighbor face any charges? As Rich Nye reports, Merlin's owner is mourning and working to make sure his death was not in vain. This is Daisy. She's a 16-year-old African sulcata tortoise. She had a friend named Merlin who somehow got out of the yard last week and was killed. But they actually, actually go around and test the fence and areas with their legs. Daisy demonstrates her strength, showing how Merlin might have escaped last Thursday, pushing under the fence. Owner Tasha Chapel discovered Merlin missing Friday. A Facebook plea for help turned up photos of Merlin crossing the county road just a few hundred yards away, near a sheep farm. Tasha called the farmer. Yes, I did see him, and I have some bad news. I shot him. <laughs> he told me, he goes, I didn't know what he was. I didn't know what he was. And I was like, so you shoot something, you don't know what it is, instead of calling the police or Boone County Humane Society or anybody? I ended up hanging up on him because I just couldn't handle it, and I called the police. The Boone County Sheriff's Department is investigating. If stuff like this has happened or does happen, that it is not going to be like taken lightly. Like I am not going to stop. I am a force right now, and I'm not going to stop until this is seen all the way through. Daisy weighs about 50 pounds. Merlin weighed about 65. These tortoises can get up to about 100 pounds and live to be 80 years old. The man who shot Merlin told me on the phone it was an unfortunate event. This is animal cruelty. This is murder of my pet that somewhat is considered property. Then theft for stealing my pet and taking him somewhere for your, a new home decoration. Like, it's senseless. Tasha has recovered Merlin's body and hopes to have it preserved. I'm Rich Nye, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And making this even harder, Tasha is set to get married this weekend. She says this is taking the focus off what would have been a time to celebrate in her life.